Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and according to the warning label, this is another two-minute tech tip. Our tipster for this episode is Oracle Ace Director Deborah Lilly. Deborah is Vice President of Cloud Services for Certus Solutions. So, let's drop the clock on this one and see what happens. The countdown starts now. Hi, my topic today is Pass for SAS. And I'm going to explain to you, the developers, what it means to a non-technical person. And then you can understand what it is that we need. So SaaS are the applications that Oracle have put in the cloud. And I'm using the ERP, that's Financials and Procurement, and the HCM clouds. What I want to be able to do is to extend those clouds' capability. And I can do that using a PaaS instance, which is the development tools made available also in the cloud. I want to be able to take some data from my SaaS application, move it to the PaaS instance, do some processing, and then take some data back and continue as I was. This requires my PaaS application to look and feel exactly the same as my SaaS application. To do that, I need to use exactly the same development tools, and that's ADF. And so I would be using the Java cloud for this. Now, Oracle have made this easy with a rapid development toolkit. But if I want to take my PaaS solution and use that in the maintenance of data or in the creation of data up front, or there's just one or two people using it, and I want a professional looking application, but I don't need that exact user experience, then Apex is brilliant. Apex can do some really clever things for me. A third option, which we haven't yet explored, is the recently announced Application Builder Cloud Service. And from the previews I've seen of this, that's looking really good. And that looks as if I'll be able to get closer to the user experience I want, but with less of the development requirement that I needed with ADF. And I'm really excited to see more about that at this year's Open World. So that's my top tip. Let us know what you think of Deborah's tip by clicking one of those little thumb icons just below the video on the YouTube page. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>